in this video, I'm going to give you the five things I learned in the first week of being a Twitch partner. Let's jump in. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Daisy Transmission, and I'm a Twitch partner. Did you see the announcement on the video? Check out the video just here. Go and see. I'm, a, I'm now a Twitch partner, and I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 1 p.m. till 5 p.m. over on Twitch. We've been streaming for now two weeks, and this is the second week of streaming. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the five things I learned in the first week of streaming and things you need to think about if you're going to start streaming on Twitch and kind of bring my learning to you straight away. And we're going to be doing a lot of these videos because we're going to be learning so much at the moment as Twitch streamers. Let's jump into them and I hope they help you if you're going to start streaming on Twitch. Well, number one is I need to be prepared for my stream more and have a bit of a plan and not just completely wing it because it just goes a bit awry and it goes a bit waffly and I say um a lot, um, see, <laughs> uh, and just kind of have a bit more of a plan of structure for my streams um, so that they kind of flow a bit better. Number two is set, make sure the setup's right, make sure I've got all the setup right, make sure I know the setting and the, and, the, and like know all of the tech that's happening um, and make sure that the microphone volume is the right level so we don't get the harm like we had on Saturday and make sure it's just, you know, the setup is decent and right. Number three is my favorite thing we learn is definitely get streaming straight away and don't kind of procrastinate about it just get yourself out there because they are going to be rubbish always things first streams can be rubbish like i didn't stream i streamed last year. i was thinking about it in the car the other day i streamed last year uh for 50 days for half an hour in a row for half an hour a day and that was the most i streamed before that probably the odd 10 15 minutes here and there by the end of may we will i'll have streamed much more than that uh, for this year already and then we're going and we and then we're due in july and august so by the time we get to the end of summer we're going to be masters at this stream malarkey but you have to get that you have to get started straight away um and you have to just get in there and understand it's gonna be rubbish number four understand your tech we learned about latency last week and audio latency uh which we know which i didn't know about and how that the, the picture streams slower than the, the audio which makes a lot of sense because the file size is a lot lower we also learned a lot about lighting last week and if you don't get your lighting right and having decent lighting or having make sure you've got you know if you're if you have can't afford extra lighting using natural lighting like windows and making sure where the light is to make sure that you're you're not in the dark or you're not there's not a light behind you that's the worst having the light behind you because it just blares in the screen and makes all the screen all bright getting that lighting right and I was hoping today we'd have even more light because we'd have this massive ring that we bought that just failed. And getting that right and getting it right where your face is, get either the window to the side because that really helps with the light. Or if you can afford actual light, then get it, you know, get it around you. Um, and learn about latency from audio point of view. And then the final thing we learned Number five, number five, is make sure if you're using, if you're streaming audio, make sure it's clear. A lot of people will turn off the stream if they can't hear you. And from an audio, from a DJ point of view, just make sure you're in stereo and it's sounding good and you've got, you're using an audio hub to try and take the audio into your computer. Make sure it's sound the best. Or from a microphone point of view, make sure the microphone is on the right level and you're not booming it out. That was the five things we learned last week. I'm gonna do them every week because I'm sure I'm gonna learn stuff every week, which is gonna be cool. It's, we're learning a lot on Twitch, for sure. I hope those helped. If you're starting to stream on Twitch, come and say hello. Come and say hello on Twitch to me. Drop in the chat if you've got your own Twitch channel, and I'll come and follow you. And let's be friends on Twitch, for starters. If you're on Discord, come and join our Discord server. Again, that link is again in the card. Or if you've got your own Discord server, drop that in the, in the, in the chat as well, and I'll come and join your servers as well. And let's start hanging out. Let's start being part of each other's Twitch families. I'm excited by this. It's been a good couple of weeks of streaming. We're streaming every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're also doing Boost Breakfast on Saturdays. Come and hang out on Twitch. Drop your Twitch pages and things, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.